we are going to discuss the math section of the sat exam in this lesson we are going to learn about solving quadratic equations by factorization i recommend you to pause the video and do the question and then check with my answer that would be the best way to score high marks let me start with the introduction first of all we will understand what is a quadratic equation quadratic equation has this form fx is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. This a, b, c are called coefficients. So typically these coefficients are constant values. They are constant values. a, b, c can be any number. Now, what do you mean by the factorization? The goal here is to write this quadratic function, which is a x squared plus b x plus c in this form a x plus b and p x plus q so the goal of factorization is to write this quadratic form in this factorized form and we know why we call this quadratic because the highest power of this function is two. So we call that quadratic. Now let's talk about a few examples. Example number one. If you have a function like fx is equal to x squared plus three x plus two. Now we will try to understand how do you factorize this function. Here I will teach you the most simplest way to factorize this quadratic function. First of all, we have to see the coefficients involving. Here you have one, which is plus one. Here you have plus three. The constant value would be plus two. So this is plus one. So plus one is the coefficient associated with x squared plus three is the coefficient associated with x, and plus two is the uh, coefficient associated with x to the power zero or the constant hanging around. Now, how do we factorize it? First of all, you will multiply these two. When you multiply these two, it would be plus one, multiply by plus two, that is going to be two. Then what we will do, we will try to find out all possible multiples of two. One can have two times one. One can have two times minus two times minus one. So those are the possible multiples of two. Now, after you are finding this, what you will do, you will add these two numbers. When you add those two numbers, that would be three. When you add these two numbers, that would be minus three. After you obtain that, you will compare this value with the value over here. So you are going to compare the value you obtain here with the coefficient of x. So you are going to confirm that this combination, two times one combination gives you the coefficient of x. Then what you will do, you will rewrite this quadratic form in this way. So you have x squared. This middle term, you will break into two and one, which is two x plus one x. So three, you break into two and one and x follows. Then the final constant, you will repeat it here. Now what we will do, we are going to factorize. We are going to take the common terms out from this term, th those two terms. We are going to take x out, so you will get x plus two. Now from here, you don't have any common term, but one, because this is one x, so this is one time two or two times one doesn't matter. So that would be x plus two. 
Now, if you carefully observe these two terms, these two terms, the common factor to these two terms would be x plus 2. So you take x plus 2 out. Then the remaining values would be xn plus 1. So that you are going to put over here. And this is the complete factorization. In summary, I can write fx is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Once you factorize it, you will get x plus 2 and x plus 1. So that would be the complete factorization of that quadratic function. Now we will discuss another question. So in this question, we have plus 1 as my coefficient associated with x squared and minus 4 here and plus 4 here. So the technique would be you multiply these two so that would be 4 and then you will check all the all possible multiples so it would be 2 times 2 it can be minus 2 times minus 2 it can be 4 times 1 it can be minus 4 times minus 1 now what you are going to do is we are going to add these two together so it would be 4 if you add these together it would be minus 4 if you add these together, it would be 5. If you add these together, it would be minus 5. So now you will check the coefficient associated with x. That would be minus 4. And then you are going to select the right matching. So this is the right matching. So what you will do, you will write the quadratic formulation. So you're going to split minus 4 into minus 2 and minus 2. So you write minus 2x, minus 2x plus 4. Then you will select these two terms and factorize it. Take the common factors out. That's the meaning of that. So x minus 2. Here you don't, you have a common factor which is uh, 2. So if you take minus 2, you can essentially take minus 2 from here and that would be x minus 2. So when you multiply this bracket, when you expand it, you get minus 2x, which is this term. And if you multiply with this, minus minus is positive and positive 4. So you recover plus 4. Then what you will do, when you consider this term and the second term, you can see x minus 2 is common. You take x minus 2 out. When you take x minus 2 out from here, the remainder would be x. When you take x minus 2 from this, the remainder would be minus 2. And that would be the answer to that particular question. So in the third question, we have 2 as our coefficient here. And then minus 8 as the coefficient associated with x. And minus 10 is a coefficient associated with x to the power 0. Because when you have minus 10, you have x to the power 0 over here always x to the power 0 is 1. So that's why we are not going to write that. So now we will use the same technique. So we are going to multiply these two. That would be minus 20. And minus 20, we will see all the possible multiples. So that would be um, minus 4 times 5. And that can be 2 times 10. So you can say minus 2. 2 min times minus 10 and 2 times minus 10 and you can fill this if you want but the main goal is when you add this you have to recover minus 8 so when you add this you have 1 when you add these together you have 8 when you add these together you have minus 8 see you got this answer so if once you realize that you got the answer you don't have to do these things so you can quit doing that and then you can split your minus 8. So let me rewrite this. fx is equal to 2x squared. So I'm going to split minus 8 in this way. So plus 2x minus 10x and you have here minus 10. Now what I will do, I will carefully observe these two. So 2x is a common factor. 
So once you take two x, you have x here and you have one here. Now, if you carefully observe this one, minus 10 is a common factor. Once you take minus 10 from here, you have x and here you have plus one. Always you can re-verify by multiplying uh, by uh, multiplying the brackets. Now, if you look at this one and the other term, from the first term and the second term, you can see x plus one is a common factor. When you take x plus one from here, you have two x remaining. And when you take x plus one from the second term, you have minus 10 from here. And that would be the answer to that question. Now let's discuss the fifth question. So in the fifth question, you can see plus two is the coefficient associated with x squared. Plus 20 is the constant associated with x to the power zero as I discussed before. And plus 14 is the coefficient associated with x. So what you will do, you will multiply these together. Then you get plus 40. Then you will see all common, all possible multiples. So that would be eight times five. The second one, if you want, you can say minus eight times minus five. Third one, you can say 10 times four. So likewise, you can have many multiples. Now here, if you add these together, you get 13. Here you get minus 13. Here you get 14. So now you can see the third combination is going to match with plus 14, as, uh, which is the coefficient associated with x. So you are going to choose that and you are going to rewrite your uh, quadratic formula, which is 2x squared plus, you can use 10 and 4 here. So it would be 10x plus 4x plus 20. Now what you will do, you will carefully observe the first two terms and the second two terms. So when you, when you go through the first two terms, you can see 2x is a common factor. Once you take 2x from here, you get x. Uh, and from the second term, you get five. So you can always verify. You can open the bracket and you can see whether you can obtain uh, what you had before. So from the second term, you can see plus four is a common factor. Then when you take plus four out, you get, you get x plus five inside the bracket. Now you will look into the first term and the second term. From the first and second term, x plus five is a common factor. You take that out and then you will write the remainder here. And that would be your answer to question number five. Now, when it comes to question number six, always you have to look at the coefficients. So minus three and minus six here. So what you're going to do, you're going to multiply those together. So when you multiply those together, you get 18. Now you will see all possible combinations, multiples, multiple combinations. Finally, you have to match that with nine when you add those together. So now let's try this. You can say 18 times one. You can say six times three. You can create many multiples here. But when you add, you have 19 over here. When you add these two, you have nine, which is the right combination. Why? Because you have plus nine over here. So then you will select six and three to split this nine. So let me rewrite it. Fx is equal to minus three x squared plus six x plus three x minus six. Now you will carefully go through the first two terms minus three x you can take out as a common factor. So you will have x here and there you have minus two. So you can open the bracket and see whether you can reproduce what you had before. Now here, what you will do, you will take three out because three is common from here and there. Then you get x minus two. Now compare this term and the other term x minus two is common, you take x minus two out, 
when you take x minus 2 from here, you have minus 3x. Here you have plus 3. And that is the factorization of that quadratic formula. So this is basically it for this video. Check the link below for more videos.